Hey, well, hey there, everybody. It's Bob here with Life in the Mountains. Today, since I can't do a whole lot of firewood preparation or anything like that, we got about five or six inches of snow, and it's still coming down, so I think what I'll do is I'll retreat to my shop, and uh, I got a project in mind. I, I've looked online, and I found a thing that's called a... Uh, Let's see, what is that? A pick a log, I think it's called. What it does is it allows you to pick up logs uh, without bending over. And, you know, that's getting to be pretty important to me. Well, it saved my back. So I got some mine bolts and I thought, I'll take these mine bolts. I think I can fashion uh, a pick a log, basically the same thing that I saw online. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, come along with me and let's see what we can make. Yep, I'd say it's six inches at least. Okay, here's my little drawing that I drew up of what I'm going to build. It's really rough, but if you'll look online for a pick -a log you'll see what it is. But I think that based on what I can tell, the overall dimensions are about 20 inches. Um, and then I've got 16 inches up to the hinge. You'll see that on the left-hand side there. And then approximately three inches, I think, for the handle. Um, for a total of four inches up from the hinge, that's how I'm going to make mine. A uh, handle on the left-hand side is about six inches up uh, from the top of the metal, and we'll see if all this works out. All right, the first thing I got to do is I got this one cut already, 24 inches, and I'm just going to match that with this next one. This is what a roof bolt looks like. Uh, I think these will work fine. They're about the right size. So I just have to do is put this one in and match the other one. And I'll have 24 inches on it. So let's see. goes in the strap bin. First thing I need to do if I'm going to I'm going to use my stove as a forge this morning and I made a door for this down here. This door slips onto my wood stove that I built out of a hot water tank open this up and I slip this down on here and it has a gap about this big in the bottom and that allows me to put things in and out, take it out and then I'll use some compressed air in this bottom hole which is the vent which will really blast air into this and get it going for me. Now that that's installed I've got this area right here I can put things in and out of and I'm going to go ahead and put some forced air from my compressor through my little homemade air blaster Put that down in there and then turn some air on and we'll see how this thing cranks up.
I think this collar piece should go about three inches down right here sticking out and then the rest of it can go on yep I think this will work okay here we are you can see that they look just about like the ones that you can buy and the only difference is this took me about uh, three hours to make so if you consider the cost they're pretty reasonable online if you want to buy one but if you want to make one and you've got some rebar laying around or an old some roof bolts or something like that that's straight half inch um, you can make one for sure so let's try it out I, I finally sharpened it up and looks like it's ready to go let's see what it'll do here they say you push forward then you go like, whoops push forward and you go like that oh well, I guess this is gonna take some getting used to <laughs> But it does work. Let's see about throwing it. Yep, they say you can throw it, so <laughs> I want to make sure mine could be thrown. I need to sharpen these points up a little bit. They're not sharp enough. I can see that's an issue. But there you go. Handmade timber tongs, pinch a log, whatever you want to call it. All it needs now is it needs a better bolt right here and the tips need to be sharp and it's ready to go well that's it for today I had a good time doing that and uh, I would just say if you ever saw some things on the internet and you have a welder and you have access to some scrap go ahead and try it it's a lot of fun I really enjoy it I hope you learned something if you did like and subscribe and as always I'm Bob. I'll see you next time on Life in the Mountains.